How's it going, everyone? Dax here, and today we're going to see YouTubers who have spent time in jail or prison. Let's get straight into it. Away we go. These are 10 YouTubers who have spent time behind bars, and we're going to no listen to three brother. hours in jail to 50 years in prison, beginning uh, with okay, yeah, and Ice Poseidon, who got arrested together for the dumbest Dude. reason imaginable. Back in mid-2018, Sam and Ice had the genius idea of hiding in a purple wooden Fortnite llama on wheels, so they okay, could that's not too bad considering what they normally do. Con, where they'd stay and film a 24-hour overnight challenge. Everything seemed to be going well in the beginning, as Sam and, and Ice then? cruised into the convention, whilst filming and laughing at security through a little peephole however okay this is a bad thing to say but considering it's these two this is like the least amount of thing i thought they'd go to, to jail for this is this is small for these two but the no. two seemed to forget that they were live streaming no shot they got people, away with this and it would only take uh... one call to have their whole plan shut down this call would happen less than 10 minutes after getting inside, which is wow. followed by security and police walking straight up to them before they'd be arrested. Go and step out. Come on, fella. Uh, what is all this? The two were taken back to the police what? station, banned from VidCon for life, and given a notice to appear in court, which eventually resulted in a further two years probation, $100 in fines, and 80 hours Jesus of Jesus Christ. Sam Pepper and Ice Poseidon's arrest was short-sighted and idiotic. However, it still wasn't mm. as stupid as the time Logan Paul was sent to jail for a whole day after getting arrested in Italy. It happened oh, I back never in knew this. when Logan was in his obnoxious vlogger phase, and prior oh, to no. the arrest, Logan's group had disrespected Italian norms, gotten kicked out of hotels, and had filmed locals without their permission. So by the time the group made it to Italy's famous Colosseum, they were bound to get into trouble. Logan began by stating that he knew flying a drone over the Colosseum was illegal. I understand uh, drone shots here are illegal, so let's definitely do that. However, after putting the drone in the air anyway, the military were able to capture it. Uh. I found it. Ellipsis. Military has it. And Logan was arrested shortly thereafter. Fly of a drone yeah. in this uh, area is illegal. No bueno. We must uh, arrest you for this. Okay. After being released from jail later that afternoon, Logan was straight back uh, to his couple of hours. self. Yo, uh, I'm a savage, bro. Free my boy, Logan. Ah! You can't stop, Logan. Ah! And if anything, seemed proud of what had happened. Uh, I went to jail, bro. I went, I've been in jail, bro. While Logan did today. have to spend a full day behind bars, Today, he's a completely different person. This is absolutely crazy. Bars. His punishment wasn't nearly as bad as Sniper Wolf's, who after Wait, being charged with robbery, what? had to spend multiple what? nights in jail. It happened back in 2013 before Sniper became a This ain't real. This is not real. And the incident was explained in a video appropriately titled My Jail Story. She explained uh -huh. that while shopping at a department store, she was asked by security to check her bag. Yet since Sniper Wolf didn't want this to happen, she pushed the security guard and ran back to her car. <gasps> asked for my bag and pulled it from me. I didn't know what to do. I just ran away and got in my car. Sniper Wolf seemed confident that she didn't actually have anything in her bag. I didn't even oh. steal anything and they had no proof I did. Yet under the assumption that she was running because she'd stolen something, Sniper Wolf was arrested later that day. They Jesus took Christ, jail, dude. They took shots and they asked us a ton of questions. She was then charged with armed robbery. I was charged with armed robbery. Wait, she was How? armed? They said it wasn't official charges. They could just pretty much charge us whatever they want right now. Before before she'd be sent to a larger jail complex where she remained for three days before being released. I was in jail wow. for almost three days. Yet this wouldn't be the last time that Sniper Wolf ended up behind bars because three years later- I miss a bounce wolf, Emin. Not many people like that yet. Sniper Wolf would take to Twitter to make a new post reading, so neighbors called the cops cause they heard screaming and I got arrested for disorderly conduct, lol at my mugshot though. This post what? was followed by a video simply titled Arrested, in which Sniper Wolf explained that she'd been taken to jail for the night after getting into a petty fight with her boyfriend. So of course I was screaming, I was screaming. I got arrested for disorderly conduct. Cause apparently you're not allowed to scream in your own house. <laughs> and while it definitely feels like Sniper Wolf isn't telling the full story about both of her jail terms, there's definitely no missing details Jeez. for the next YouTuber who was sentenced to 15 months in prison for playing a prank on a homeless person. Back in 2017, a Spanish creator what? with over a million subscribers called Reset thought it would be a good idea to take the filling out of an Oreo, replace Name it sounds with familiar. Oh, I remember this. It's so Despite messed up, that man. the toothpaste-filled Oreo would help the homeless man clean his teeth, the community yeah. began to destroy Reset, creating what? a 125,000 signature petition to have his channel deleted, which accompanied a 19 million 
million view video by Auron Play titled Reset, oh the most God. stupid on internet. However, mm. Reset's worst punishment was still yet to come, as after the homeless man's daughter noticed the backlash on the internet, she'd take legal action against the YouTuber and Reset ended up in court. The judge, Rosa Aragonez, noted that it was not an isolated event and the social media star had a propensity for cruel behavior and vulnerable victims. She found him guilty of violating the man's moral integrity. Reset was sentenced to 15 months in prison and was ordered to pay 20,000 euros to the homeless man. Reset also received a five year ban from all social media, with this sentence commencing in June 2019, meaning he'll be able to return to YouTube in June 2024, although certainly with a next downtrodden month. reputation. Beamscore was another next year. million plus subscriber channel who managed to land themselves in prison, although for an even longer time than Reset. The two owners of the family channel, Billy and Eva, were often seen on social media with luxury cars and extravagant homes, yet it turns out that not all of their money had been made through their YouTube channel. Because on the 23rd uh -huh. of February 2020, they'd upload a video titled We Kept This A Secret Long Enough We Were Arrested, in which they'd explained that they had a court date for an unspecified charge. Yes, we were arrested huh? and we have a very important date. We have a sentencing date. That will change our lives forever for the good or for the bad. A month later, it was revealed that the couple were being accused of identity theft and defrauding the government, having accessed or attempted to access social security what? accounts belonging to over 1,400 different individuals that's so messed up oh my god identity to you know to make money that was my hustle back then and i knew what i was doing was wrong but it was just i needed a way to make money the couple explained that all of this had happened five years Whoa. prior to beginning youtube although this didn't seem to matter to the judge who sentenced the couple to three years in prison i got two years and ivani got one year I got a year and a day. She has a year and a day. As well as ordered them to pay back the $94,000 that they had stolen. In true um. family channel fashion, they then used their time in prison as clickbait for content, yet this behavior wasn't nearly as bad as Russian YouTuber Ruslan Sokolovsky, who was sentenced to three and a half years in prison for playing Pokemon Go in a church. In early August 2016, what? Sokolovsky no filmed shot. a video of himself catching Pokemon in Yekaterinburg's church on blood. The video stirred up a okay. controversy among believers while a criminal case was initiated in accordance with the Russian Criminal Code's articles citing you incitement to hatred and enmity, denigrating human dignity, as well as violating the right to freedom of conscience and religion. The alleged what? crime, playing Pokemon Go inside an Orthodox church. Sokolovsky no. shared a YouTube no. video that showed him playing the smartphone game. His video went viral and prompted a police investigation. Officials said the that's all he done? No, that's no. I don't. That's ridiculous. That is video ridiculous. Was one of many by the young blogger that questioned or criticized the church. In May 2017, approximately one year after posting the Pokemon Go video, Rosalind mm -hmm. was handed a 3.5 year suspended prison term. And while his 500,000 subscriber YouTube channel is pretty much dead these days, he's still yet to spend any time behind bars. Jens the Beast had a harsher oh, okay. sentence than anyone else on this list Jeez. so far. Although he was actually able to use YouTube to improve his reputation after getting out of prison. Jens the Beast explained that his life began to spiral out of control following the death of his mother at the age of 24. He was sent to prison for the first time mm. back in 2009 after getting into an altercation with the nightclub bouncer, yet after finishing this first prison stint, he was sent back Jesus. two more times, totaling four years spent behind bars. That's During his final bro. stint, Jens made the decision to get his life together. The last prison sentence that I got, I used a lot of my time finding myself with cognitive therapy and anger management stuff like that. So oh my I God. Off my mind decided that I'm not going back. And after being released from prison, he launched his own coaching program before joining Rich Piano's 5% Nutrition Group. And with the assistance of YouTube and Instagram, Jens was able to turn his life around completely. How's that played three years ago, I was released from prison. And now I got two companies going, working with clients all over the world and doing expos and got so many fans and followers. So just, I'm really, really grateful. However, while Jens is certainly one of the scariest looking people on the platform, his four mm. years in prison still seems minor when compared to Saucy and Honey, who are facing a seven year mm -hmm. sentence for a YouTube prank. This may have been fun for those oh. YouTubers, but tonight they are facing some serious felony Dude, charges the pranks, and up to man. seven years in jail. In February 2022, the 25,000 subscriber channel posted a video titled 24 hour overnight challenge in Target. We are about to spend- No shot. Dude, I think the only person I know that done this was Ali Law in the. I think he was the UK one. And he just used to break into places and stay there overnight. But he was kind. He kind of yeah. They were kind of good videos, not gonna lie. But at the same time, they're just not right. You're sitting there thinking like, what the hell? How is this even allowed on YouTube? 
but the yeah. Night in Target. We're gonna spend overnight in Target. After introducing the video, the two would hide in the store and wait for it to close. They then walk around filming like, themselves before walking out in the morning, stating what? that they've been there all night. We successfully completed our overnight challenge. In Clearly Target. faked it, right? Yeah. The video went up She's like loud, Jesus. Other. However, the couple was arrested after the video was watched by police. West Whiteland police saw Maybe the video them. and arrested Johnson LaRose and Charlotte Fisher for criminal trespassing and conspiracy. Criminal trespass was a felony in the third degree. They're not they're not entitled to be there, um, mm -mm. So, which makes it a crime. Not only did the news expose their challenge as fake, using security uh, camera footage I which knew it. leaving the store at 3 a.m., but after uh. being arrested, the two were charged with criminal trespassing, conspiracy, and are now facing up to seven years in prison. However, Jesus seven years Christ. is still nothing when compared to Wes Watson, whose 10 years in prison acted as a basis for him to become a multi-multi-millionaire. Now, what? Wes was already a millionaire prior to entering prison. However, this money had been earned via oh, okay. illegal activity and would therefore also become the reason for his time behind bars. After 10 years in the California prison system, Wes decided mm -hmm. that he was ready to get his life together and instead of taking on a normal post-prison job, he instead created a YouTube channel titled GP Penitentiary Life Wes Watson, where he began to tell stories about what prison was really like. His oh, ideal wow. prison-like image helped all of his videos to explode in popularity. So I went on that YouTube channel and it blew up. Every video got millions of views. I got 100,000 subscribers in 28 days. And with his physique also being in a very enviable position from his time away, Wes sold fitness programs and coaching via his social media channels. Wes also put okay. out a book and only three years after being released from prison, Wes had once again become a multi-millionaire. That's why I've been able to make myself a millionaire and stay fit this quick. <laughs> Three. He's spitting everywhere, dude, and he's tense in the entire video. He's, uh, he must be tired after every video again. Years. That's dedication. I've been doing 10 years in prison. <laughs> Everybody told me, Wes, get a real job. Like, how are you going to support a family online coaching? Ha! Which accompanied a whole new series of videos <laughs> in which Wes preaches the importance of good habits in the most brutally honest way possible. You will have zero value in your life. Zero value worth if you don't put the work in if you crack that bottle and think it's gonna do it massive downside hey look at me i'm it sounds like a so much drill fun. sergeant we know how you look in the morning throwing up in the toilet looking at your bank account all however while prison led wes watson to become <laughs> a successful motivational speaker for the no, final person. youtuber on our list the opposite uh. happened and being a motivational speaker led him into prison he was Ooh. a mexican youtuber by the name of jaman loera mx and as mentioned previously he was known for posting motivational and business content to his channel with over 5,000 subscribers. However, instead of engaging Damn. in legitimate business practice, Jaman instead decided to make money by kidnapping someone and holding them for a $100,000 ransom. Two days after doing so, he what? was caught by police and was sentenced to 50 years in prison where he remains to this day. Yeesh, that's, uh, that's the next level one, that one. Jesus Christ, whoa. That went from... Misdemeanors with the relationships to kidnapping an individual. That's uh, next level. <clears throat> okay, that's the end of the video. Make sure you check out the original in the description down below. Enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up, comment, join me, interact to next, subscribe, if you're not just having it. I'll see you in the next video. Ooh, goodbye.